welcome to the instructional videos for the Air Swimmers product. This will guide you through assembly and flying of your Air Swimmers product. In addition to everything in the Air Swimmers box, you will need four AAA batteries, a Phillips head screwdriver, and access to helium in order to complete and use this product. The assembly steps for the shark and the clownfish are essentially the same. Inside the box, you have the instructions. On top, here you have three of the shark's fins. Pull these out and set them to the side. In the case of the clownfish, you will have an extra fin in the back. This is the electronics pod that contains the receiver and the battery and the track that it moves along. This is the remote control unit. This is the tail motor assembly and is what propels and steers the shark. You have some putty. You have some rubber bands and some small plastic pieces. Don't lose those pieces. You have the tail fin here, balloon in a plastic bag, and you have a few clear stickers, which will be important for assembly. You can fill the balloon up with helium at a party store, floor store, or grocery store that sells balloons. Make sure you fill it up with uh, pure helium and not party mix. You can also fill up your air swimmer with one of these small party tanks that you can get at a party supply store. Place the nozzle of the helium tank into the back of the balloon and then holding firmly, press down on the nozzle. Inflate the balloon until its surface is very firm. Most of the small wrinkles will disappear, leaving only large wrinkles spaced a few inches apart. Now that your balloon is filled with helium, you can tie a piece of ribbon to one of the loops at the bottom of the balloon, and then using the corner of your air swimmer's box, which already has a hole in it, you can tie this off like that for ease of transportation and assembly. Locate the sheet of double stick tape. Remove the smaller rectangles and place them on the back of the four rubber band hooks. Do the same for the shark's three fins or the clownfish's four fins. Also place the larger rectangles on the track pads at either end and place the rectangle that has a hole in the center on the center track pad. Remove the double stick tape backing from the fin and place on the side of the shark where it has an X. Like so, the fin should stick to the balloon. Do this for all three of the shark fins. You can use the photo on the front of the box as a reference for fin placement and orientation. In the case of the clownfish, you will have an extra fin in the back. To make the attachment of the fins more secure, take a piece of the included clear tape and place it over the base of each fin. There are four rubber band hooks that are placed at the rear of the shark. They have double stick tape, just like the fins, that get peeled off. You place the four rubber band hooks at the back of the shark on the X that says place rubber band hook here. You orient them so that the hook is facing forward towards the nose of the shark. Place a piece of the clear tape over each of the rubber band hooks and press into place. Using the four supplied clips, Attach the tail fin to the tail motor. Place the fin support rods into the groove in the tail motor assembly and slide the plastic clips into place. Do this in all four positions on both sides of the tail motor assembly. There we go. Attach the tail motor to the balloon using the four included rubber bands. Take the rubber band and loop it over the rubber band hook that you previously attached to the balloon and then the hook on the tail motor. Do this on both sides and the top and the bottom. Make sure the foam spacer is between the tail motor assembly and the balloon. Install one AAA battery in the electronics pod. Install three batteries into the control. Remove the backing from the sticky pads on the three track platforms. Use the two large clear plastic pieces 
and place them sticky side up on the forward track pad and the back track pad. This step is best accomplished with an assistant. Today I have Nathan pushing me. Hold the balloon upside down and place the track and pod on the underside of the balloon. It is important to install the track correctly so that your air swimmer will balance properly. Different cities have different elevations and warrant different track positions. There's a table in the instructions that shows which number you should place the track at based on your city's altitude. For most low altitude cities, the number three works well. Press the clear tape into place. The placement numbers for the clownfish are different than the shark, so reference the table in the instruction manual. Take one of the clear plastic tape rectangles and place it on either side of the center track pad. Thread the wire through the four loops on the bottom of the shark and plug it in to the tail motor. To adjust the balance of the shark, open up the putty compartment on the front of the pot and place some of the included putty inside the mouth of the pot. If the shark goes up, add a little bit of putty. And if the shark descends, remove a small amount of putty. When properly adjusted, your shark should float perfectly in midair without rising or descending. Place the leftover putty in the compartment on the side of the controller. Turn the controller and the shark to the on position. If the shark does not respond to commands from the controller, you may need to repair the shark. This is a simple operation. To pair a shark to its controller, turn the shark on and then while holding down the top dive button, turn the controller on. Wait for three or four seconds and they should be paired together. To make your air swimmer swim through the air, press alternatingly right and left on the main button on the controller. This Good. will cause the tail to swish back and forth, right and then left, causing the air swimmer to swim through the air. To turn the air swimmer, cause the tail to flap more on one side than the other. Try flapping the tail at different rhythms in order to change the air swimmer's speed. In order to make the shark fly upwards, press the climb button until the nose of the shark is pointed up, and then flap the tail just like before to swim the shark in an upwards direction. To make the shark descend, press the dive button on the remote until the nose of the shark points down, and then flap the tail to swim the shark downwards. The air swimmer operates on infrared technology. It is important to keep the lights on the front of the controller pointed at the receiver on the shark. Also, do not cover the lights on the front of the controller accidentally with your finger. When not using your air swimmer, you can dock it using the wire hook on the controller. Slide this wire hook over the loop by the pod and set the air swimmer down. As the balloon loses helium over days and weeks, it will start to sag a little bit. You can blow a little bit of air into the valve at the back of the balloon by inserting a regular drinking straw about three inches into the balloon and blowing air. Remember not to inhale helium. Additionally, you may find it necessary to remove some of the ballast weight as the balloon loses helium over time. Now that you know how to fly your air swimmer, the most important thing to remember is have fun. <laughs>